Greetings and welcome back, Dapplings! In the last episode of RimWorld, we fought off a mechanoid invasion. It was actually a pretty long battle. It was, it was kind of uh, rough, honestly. You know what? I actually want to make this storage except the corpses of mechanoids. Um, yeah, mechanoid corpse. Priority is low in here. I actually want it to be important. So let's get those mechanoids in there because I desperately don't want them to just decay out here. I'm not sure if they will. Yes, they will. They'll, they'll, they'll uh, well, they're dead for 2.2 days. I'm not sure if that means they're going to break down. But uh, I would actually really like them brought inside. Now, we have got ourselves a minigun. Now, I've been having a bit of a think of who could have it. And miniguns are incredibly slow firing and wildly inaccurate, except close range. Now, given that... I think we want one of our close-range fighters to use it effectively. Well, there's only one that I've got that isn't a brawler, and that is Raymond. If we have a look at Raymond's character, they're not a, a brawler. In fact, they've got better shooting than anything else. So, Raymond, I'm going to have you equip the minigun. You are going to become slower for having it. It is a heavy weapon, after all, but uh, hopefully it's going to be rather awesome. Now, where is uh, Ignat? Ignat, are you alright? Where are you? Are you okay? How's your health? Yeah, you're right. I think he may have forgiven Lazy Kim. I'm not sure the rest of the colonists have, though. Just putting that out there. You are in the doghouse for a while. <laughs> Punny. All right, let's have a look. We've got plenty of cloth. Growth rate is only 17%. We've had a full harvest of cloth once. This is only 17% done. It, that, is, that is quite staggering. Might be worth having hydroponics trays specifically for this because they're such a slow growing plant and hydroponics trays seem to give you a be uh, a bonus on that kind of speed All right now how's everything going in here? We're actually running low on a bit of power, but then we were short on a lot of uh, Solar energy for quite some time, so that isn't entirely surprising well done, we're getting this room set up. Soon we'll have all of the battery banks as well. Now the heat wave outside is 41 degrees. Let's check in here. It's 40 degrees, that's perfectly acceptable. 26 degrees in there. Uh, 28, 27-ish. I mean, you know, it, it's tolerable. It's, it's warm. It's uncomfortably warm for most of my colonists, but uh, I'm sure they'll be okay. Now, we will eventually be building a geotherm over there, so I'm not worrying too much about this amount of power. I'll probably have to have another battery bank somewhere near the geotherm, um, but it'll be alright, I, I suspect. Uh, we are going to want to set this up as the main conduit. We're also going to want to set this whole area up over here, perhaps going all the way around even, as the main storage room. That is where I'm going to want everything brought. Um, why is that not being brought over? Well, okay, fine. This needs to not be that high because it will actually act as an overflow storage for the other, so it will just be preferred. Moss, will you haul the meat out for me? Thank you. Really appreciate that. And then the other one as well. There we go. Severe illness. That's not good. Averti, how's it going? Infection extreme. Why? Go rest until heal, you fool. Will of Terror, can you please treat a worthy? Or feed them, even. How's this going? Almost completely immune. Okay, that's, that's fine then. It's extreme, so it's going to be rough for a little while, but eventually it'll calm down. Boomalops, I recommend you don't go near the fire. I don't think your kind really likes the fire. Fire, ouch. Uh, we'll pick up the Plasteel Gladius as well. Where is Shadow Wolf at the moment? Plasteel Gladius for you, I think. Well, also, uh, actually, I think you have the long sword. Um, go ahead and grab the long sword then. There we go. Someone else can grab the plasteel gladius at some point. It's not going to be lazy Kim because lazy Kim tends to like to go berserk. We've run down the batteries in most of these areas, which is unfortunate. So basically, the whole base is running off these battery banks. But eventually, it'll be okay. We've got pretty good light at the moment. Wind is doing all right. On the whole, I think we'll be okay. There we are. We are actually starting to s store a charge again. Well done. Let's have a check of Diva. How are you doing? Four out of eight hauling. Soon you will be joining Melonhead as one of the more useful members of 
our animal tribe. Go and take out that elephant. Sorry, elephant, but uh, your meat is way too valuable to me right now. Uh, do we have any other large animals? I don't want to too aggressively hunt the muffalo herd. I'm trying to preserve them to a certain point. Uh, elephant revenge. Okay, that's that's actually pretty bad. Archibald, you need to be skedaddling right now. Run, Archibald. You're much faster than an elephant. And then you can take position behind this tree, and you can kill the. Okay, never mind. You're good. Please bring this elephant back. But then we will uh, take out the elephants. They they're not a natural herd here, but I do want the buffalo around. I need to get more buffalo so that I can uh, actually stop breeding them. That would be very very useful to me. Uh, same with most of these animals. In fact, oh, is my squirrel pregnant yet? No, you're not pregnant. Uh. Llama. Uh, it's not going to be the male that's pregnant. One would hope. I mean, uh, it could be a strange alien llama. Uh, we've got plenty of fertilized eggs being made. That's not too bad. Alright, well, hopefully this is not going to break down anytime soon. I'm not entirely sure. We do need that uh, table to be able to deal with it. But, once we've got the battery pack set up, I'll actually look at moving things over here. So for the time being, I'm going to set up a brewery. We want it to be a wooden brewery. Well, it's going to have to be a wooden brewery. We'll get that set up. Oh, well done, everyone. You have hauled in a lot of stuff. I'm really impressed. Really, really impressed. Let's check on work. We should have more people willing to do smithing. If there's nothing else to do, then it's going to be like hauling for you. You can just smelt down the slag. Yeah, let's get that set up, and then we can start turning those glorious hops into glorious beer, which should help with everyone's mood a little bit. You can also sell it at a push. For that reason, actually, you know what? I'm going to add this. I'm going to be willing to sell meals and beer if the need should arise. Well done, I'm putting out that fire, everyone. Okay, on the whole, I'm fairly happy with where things are at the moment. Uh, we've got all of our turrets set up. We do need to tell you to pull this, though. Let's get that hold, please. We've got a bulk goods trader. All right, let's uh, see what Tamiz can get for us. Got a couple of poor moves in exhaustion. All right, we can buy or sell wood. Don't really want to. We're going to be making our own beer, so I'm not going to worry about that. We could sell the hops. That doesn't really make much sense, to be fair. Uh, we could buy it, but it's actually fairly costly on the steel. Boomerang leather, we'll get rid of. Elephant skin, yeah, we'll get rid of that. Squirrel skin. Boar skin, um, I will actually keep that around for now. Hay, I'm not going to sell any of the hay for now. Got loads of potatoes, corn, rice, all sorts of things. Milk, sell, not going to. Chocolate, we could buy more. Uh, I don't think so. We're making... Oh, no, we're not making lavish meals. Good, I was about to say. It's not really that effective. Ooh. Um. No. Not for now. Not for now. Trying to save up money, not not get rid of it. Elks? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, I'm fairly happy with that. We'll make a little bit of money. It's not great, but it'll do. The cleaning is going well. We've got quite a lot of hauling to do. Willow of Terror is making some clothing right now. Shadow Wolf is generally researching. Let's uh, check out Shadow Wolf's priorities at the moment. What are you up to, Shadow Wolf? So if you've got nothing to research, you'll do these. Mm. Not entirely satisfied with that. There are enough people who are willing to do this. Um, I'm going to put you on to secondary. So that we can get some more crafting done. Bringing in more steel. Generally, everything is moving forward little by little. I do need to build up some better defenses around here, though, I feel. This is this is a bit of a risky situation. Or, I could build out a wall and just encompass this whole area, meaning that we're only ever really going to have to defend from this one, which is, uh, you know, makes a bit of sense. It's one of the best uh, built-up areas that we have. Um, in fact, I could even do something... Like have a secondary wall of defenses going around here. Or, something I've been thinking about for a little while. Have we got any bricks? Oh, we don't actually have any bricks at the moment. Uh, this is probably something that I'm going to need 
Shadow Wolf to two. Wooden Sculptor. It is shoddy. It was made by Sammy Keegan Lister. Let's have a look at it. Tosser sized piece of material sculpted into an artistic form. This work is shaped like Mitchell Awerty Everson stumbling around with a completely broken expression on his face, seemingly without reason, on the April 9th, 5502. He seems to have lost a shoe. The scene takes place in the middle of a town. The style is symbolic with amateurish yet attractive elements. <laughs> well done, Keegan. You are getting better. Um, but I am going to, at this point, take wood off the list of allowed materials. I would prefer you to use um, pretty much any stone block, honestly. Just go for it with stone. Uh, that should be good enough. So hopefully we can haul that off. Uh, looks like we're not going to, actually. Okay, well, I can just sit there for now, then. Uh, we're not doing too bad. Have we got very many idle colonists? No. Okay, right, well, the next thing that we want to work on, then, is going to be to set up the power supply in here. So this, again, is going to be the primary uh, power supply bank in the entire area. In the entire fort, rather. Ooh. We really do need that set up first, though. So, for, uh, structure, we're going to want a steel automated door. About... Um, yeah, we will actually have a steel automated door. We're also going to want power conduits. There, there. There we go. Then we're going to want... I mean, this one will just hook up, I imagine... Oh, actually... There's no particular place that it would hook up to. So I'll put a conduit there and then it'll hook up that way. Then we are going to want some lighting. We'll have one there and one over there as well. Now we are actually going to very desperately need stone cutter's table, please. Let's get some nice work. No, no, no. More stone cutter's table. There we go. We need that sandstone. And again, please. Right, now, a Awerty or Keegan should hopefully grab that and try and work on this. There we go. That's exactly what I want to see. I want to see this room sealed off. Next should be some metal. Hopefully the door will be fairly high priority to fix. There we go. Perfect. Right, that's all set up for us. Uh, the switches are already set. We've got plenty of metal for the time being, so we're not actually hurting for that in any particular sense. Uh, we've got plenty of batteries now. We are gradually building up a charge in the various locations. This, I'm not sure what we're going to do. I do want our common room fairly close to where we're going to be making the food. So probably this area, but uh, it does depend a little bit. I, I am considering building out the wall and probably sealing off this area. Ooh, the disease, the flu! Oh no, please! Don't need to have the flu. Please don't give it to anyone else. See your health. Oh well, that's that's gonna have you taken out for a little while, I feel. Right, we want some nice doors here, so furniture. Actually, let's get some really nice doors. We're gonna have some some. Silver door. Uh, oh, actually, that's steel. Damn it. I wanted silver. Where is it? Silver. Drat. Okay, we'll have steel doors on the outside, silver doors on the inside. That'll, that'll be fine. That'll actually look quite nice, I think. And yes, it is using up our currency, but oh, damn it. It's the graveyard. It, deserves, it, it needs to be quite pr pretty, in my opinion. Right, so, as soon as these conduits are set up properly, then we're going to be good. Let's go ahead and cancel the conduits that have been built. Oh no, it actually shows that it is uh, it is acting as a conduit. I thought for a moment, perhaps I was building a conduit on top of the switch, which would effectively mean that it's got a bypass of the switch. But that doesn't seem to have been the case. Mr. Lazy Game, I'm not surprised it is you who is exhausted, given your terribly, terribly slow movement rate. We've got our brewery. So let's go ahead and set up root beer. Pretty much do it and t forever. There's never going to be a reason when we don't want it. No, don't allow rotten hops. I mean, I don't... I'm not... I've never made beer. I've made wine. Never made beer. I don't know if you can use rotten hops. But I'm going to say I don't want to. 
This is where sometimes actually you kind of need them for X, Y, and Z reason, and, and uh, sorry, Z reason. And it's like, oh, I like that. really. Uh, I'm not sure we're ready to take on another robot ship. Not in this episode, at the very least. We'll be leaving that one for a little while. Uh, how's everything going in here? Okay, quite a lot of things set up. We just need these conduits done, and we're good to go. Would like you to reconnect. Dunk. Um, also, we can at this point remove some of these conduits. No, oh, I want the conduit. There you go. I'm going to remove this conduit. Ah, drat. That's not what I meant to do. Scoundrels. Get rid of that. This. Okay, I'm fairly happy with these connections now. I am going to have to rebuild the conduit there, though. For the symmetry. There we go. Should be a little bit of metal there for you to uh, grab and start applying everywhere. How's it going, Raymond? What are you up to? You're just moving the metal around. Oh, okay. Well, that's fair enough. Raymond's helping out. Well done, you, Raymond. And how are my animals doing? Generally, fairly well, I hope. Mr. Lazy Kim, I'm I'm doing my best by you, Mr. Lazy Kim. I'm genuinely trying my best to keep you in a, uh, in a good state. People are already enjoying our freshly brewed beer. Well done. Nothing quite like enjoying food or drink that you made yourself. Especially if you also grew the ingredients yourself. It is a special sort of feeling of achievement in that instance. Now, Keegan, can we get you to finish this off? Reserved by a Worthy. Okay, well, can you do this instead then? I have no idea where a Worthy is. A Worthy is not doing this. Perhaps a Worthy went off to get some metal? I'm not sure. May yes, it looks like they are at this point. That's unfortunate. Looks like we have uh, run out of the metal nearby. Okay, well, let's uh, get down here, do a little bit more mining, just just a tad. Just, just try to sneak a little bit more metal from around that dangerous, dangerous room. Also, sorry, but it has to happen. Uh, how is this going? The battery bank is actually now properly looking awesome. I'm really happy with that. For the time being, though... Uh, if we actually put a power conduit running along here, which is effectively what I want to do, so that I can build out the whole room like that, then I can then disconnect these two conduits and continue the pattern well. Well done. We're up to 18 bottles of beer. I'm sure everyone is very happy about this. Muffalo self-tamed. Yes. You may go... And live in the stable. Alright, Muffalo 2, what are you? You're a male. Have we got a female? I think we actually might. Yes, well, it makes sense. We're <laughs> getting milk. Don't think about that one too hard. Right, okay, so we've now got a breeding pair of Muffalo. That is actually fantastically, fantastically good. Okay, it's going to take you guys a little while to get all of that sorted, unfortunately. But, you know, you're getting pretty close to finishing off that room. And I'm very, very happy with the progress that has been made. Got a little bit more metal that we can continue to mine over here. How's the metal down there? Oh, I don't know. We're getting very close now. Keep going, bad blanket. You're brave, aren't you? Yes, you are. Well done. More mining. We should probably just encourage someone to haul it all back, but for the time being, I'm happy to allow people to uh, just go and grab that themselves and then bring it back. Um, people are enjoying their food. We've got the bodies in there. The hops are being turned into glorious, glorious beer. Someone's in a poor mood. How? We've got beer. I don't believe you. I need my snipers to improve so badly. Oh, my lord. Uh, there we are. All of the batteries are now set up. We just need the conduit and we're sorted. The main battery pack, uh, bank will be complete. To me, let's talk to the exotic goods trader, please. Right, we can sell... We've got two small wooden sculptures. They're both kind of rubbish. I'm not sure if we would have gotten more from selling the actual wood itself. 
Oh well. Right, superior, 6%. We'll get rid of it. Uh, 24. Poor at 60. Anything at 60 or below needs to be sold straight away. Anything that is poor, regardless of quality, needs to be sold straight away. We're making enough stuff now that we don't need to keep the poor items. Uh, we could... Is there anything else we could sell? We could buy a bionic leg. But, you know, we've got nowhere near the money for it. Simple prosthetic arm. We could buy it. I'm uh, not particularly interested in, though. I prefer to go for the bionic leg. We could buy a power claw. Again, don't have the money right now. Could sell the AI persona core. Mm. Tempted on that one. Quite tempted. What's bionic lag like? Uses cutting edge technology to give its owner extreme walking comfort and strength. Moving plus twenty percent. Well, I mean, we may have to buy one at a stupid price, but who knows? We may get another one in a moment. Okay, bionic leg it is. For Keegan, of course. Simple, simple prosthetic arm. I mean, we could buy this for Willow Terra for now. It doesn't look like it's a bad thing to get. Body part efficiency. Well, it's going to reduce it, but at least they'll, they'll be healthy again. So, alright, we'll grab it. Uh, the joy wire. This little brain implant will make you feel happy and relaxed. I could put it in Lazy Kim, actually. But uh, do I really want to spend that much money on Lazy Kim? I, and I know that sounds horrible to say, but it's true. No. I'd rather get a Power Claw, and once we've got two, give them to Shadow Wolf. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I think would be the best possible use of my money right now. Okay. Go. Right. Where are you, Keegan? I know, I know. It, I keep doing this to you. Kind of not nice, but come on. Store bionic leg, left leg, or right leg. Store peg leg. Uh, harvest your heart or your liver. Remove left hand, remove right hand. Now, this is the thing. If someone in the comments could let me know if you happen to know. I, From what I understand, if you replace an arm with a bionic arm, you lose the hand on it. But, if I remove the part first, would I get the part back? If so, could I then install a bionic arm and then the claw on the bionic arm? If I could do that, my goodness. But, it's time for you to have... Uh, which leg do you want? Uh, you can have a left leg. There you go. Where's Willow Terra? Need you to have... I need to check out your health. Left radius... We want you to have by uh, sorry simple prosthetic arm left shoulder. There we go. Two people need to uh, get down there and uh, have some treatment. Don't don't no 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 no. Rest until healed. Go to Tara, go there. Thank you very much. Keegan, go there. Rest until healed. We'll have all of these things done to you in here. Thank you. But on that note, I'm going to wrap this episode up. So I hope you've enjoyed and will be joining me for the next. But until then, and as always, do take care.